good part of the day. In the framework of the legislative news project set by Ministry of Justice, you will be presented a brief summary of the legislation adopted during the week. Presidential decree on measures to bring the promotion of foreign language learning in the Republic of Uzbekistan to a qualitatively new level was adopted. According to the decree, the Agency for the Promotion of Foreign Languages and its regional representatives in the Republic of Karakalpakistan regions and the city of Tashkent were established under the Cabinet of Ministers. According to the decree from next academic year, 207 schools specializing in foreign language teaching will be established in the districts and cities on the basis of general secondary education institutions. From September 1, 2021, the presidential award will be established to encourage schools that have achieved the best results in foreign language teaching. The competition for the award will be held among secondary schools in the following three stages. The first stage will be held in districts and cities and the winners will receive up to 100 million sums. The second stage is held in the Republic of Karakalpakistan regions and the city of Tashkent. The winners get up to 250 million sums. The third stage will be held nationwide and the winners will be awarded up to 500 million sums. Also, one-time subsidies up to 50 million sums will be awarded to entrepreneurs for the organization of foreign language classes in rural areas. Our next document is related to international IT certificates. The government adopted a regulation on measures to support young professionals with international IT certificates. According to the regulation, from June 1, 2021, there will be established the procedure for reimbursement of up to 50% of the cost of obtaining international IT certificate for young people. According to the regulation, applicants will be able to register for free on the portal called IT Talents of Uzbekistan by submission of electronic application. The Directorate of Software Products and Information Technology Park, as an authorized body, will consider applications within five working days and verify the submitted international IT certificate. The Directorate summarizes the application documents and submits proposals for funding to competent authority, the Ministry for Development of Information Technologies and Communications, within five working days. Without an international IT certificate, the applicant will not be compensated for the cost of the training courses to obtain an international IT certificate. Proposals submitted by the directorate shall be agreed by the competent authority within three working days. After that, the directorate within three working days will transfer the appropriate amount of money to the relevant account specified by the applicant to cover part of the cost of obtaining international IT certificates. Next act we are going to tell about is Government Regulation No. 390. By this regulation, the Government Regulation on Approval of the Administrative Regulations for the Provision of Public Services for the Admission of Children to Public Preschool Education was amended. According to the amendments, the list of children eligible for priority admission to preschool organizations has been updated. Now, the following categories of children will have the right to priority admission to kindergarten children of persons with disabilities of first and second groups, children from large families, orphans or children left without parental care, children of single women in need of social protection included in the women's book, children of military contract servicemen and offices of internal affairs, children of students and teachers, children whose siblings are enrolled into the same kindergarten and recovered children who are transferred from multidisciplinary specialized preschool to general type preschools. The privilege of children who were previously on the list for admission to kindergarten will be retained until they are given a referral document. Admission of children on a preferential list does not apply to non-governmental preschool educational institution based on public-private partnership. Another important document is in the field of healthcare system. The presidential decree on additional measures for comprehensive development of the healthcare sector was adopted. According to the decree from June 15, 2021, the amount of funds allocated per capita for medicines and medical supplies in primary healthcare facilities will be increased by an average of three times. For this purpose, 
165 billion SOMS will be allocated for the optimization of investment projects in 2021. According to the decree, a system of rating the performance of the chiefs of all healthcare organizations will be introduced, and the results will be submitted to the administration of president and the government every quarter. From July 1, 2021, the requirements for the employment of medical personnel with higher education with less than five years of work experience in non-governmental medical organizations will be equated to public medical institutions. Also, in two years, 91 branches of the Republican Specialized Scientific and Practical Medical Centers will be established in the Republic of Karakalpakstan regions and the city of Tashkent in order to establish proper nutrition in preschool educational institutions and schools from the next academic year. An updated diet and requirements for entrepreneurs engaged in this area will be introduced. In this regard, the sale of food products that are harmful for the health and development of children in preschools and schools will be restricted. Thank you for your attention. You can get access to full text of these documents on the website lex.us. Also, you can get news of the legislation on the Telegram channel of the Ministry of Justice Legal Info.